up? I'm Sam Hurley. Today we're going to be working on, well today in the next few days, this E39 BMW 5 Series wagon for my friend Danny. We're going to be selling it soon. Never hurts to have some polished paint, so that's what we're going to do using Turtle Wax's one and done compound and a few different pads. It is raining today. It's kind of weird to do a car wash in the rain, but we're going to. And then we can pull it in and dry it. So we do have to wash it before we polish it. We have the buckets already filled up. Pro tip with buckets, when it's cold and rainy or just cold in general, fill them up inside with warm water and it'll keep your hands warm. So uh, we're gonna get that started and pull it in, get it dried and go from there. So here we go. Luckily this isn't an official how-to, so this flies too. We gotta find him a new one. The car's for sale. We'll get it we'll get it figured out. Wow. I should hold it like I make all my talent hold in all the videos. dried enough for now cleaned off the wheels next up is going to be clay bar just get all the paint uncontaminated for that step or polishing but I'm gonna close the garage get everything set up so that it's less dust and whatever coming in from outside and we will go panel by panel from there <clears throat> all right we're indoors don't look at my ugly garage door don't look at the ceiling we're not so highly produced today, but we see the car. We see why we are polishing it. Let's take a closer look. This car is a great subject for polishing because it has obviously been taken care of. Majority of any paint damage that I'm seeing is just kind of this general haze you'll see everywhere. It's almost like this black paint has become a gray haze in a way. So getting rid of some of these you know, massive spiderweb blemishes, this general haze, it's gonna deepen the paint so, so much just by getting rid of all these scratch reflections. It's crazy. You know, that could be the sign of car washes. It could be the sign of numerous hand washes or just the tiniest bit of neglect or lack of coverage, what have you. This is a car that is enjoyed every day. It might be going up for sale soon. So it's something that I would say we're gonna to take to about 80 or 90%, not 100%. This is not gonna be a concourse detail. This is not gonna be absolute perfection. We're not taking stuff off the car. We're gonna take some stuff up, but this doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna get it way, way better, just in a matter of steps, and that's simply the goal. So it's gonna look a lot better, as you can see on screen. Uh, and we'll get you some before and afters too. So let's get clay barring and let's get polishing. Here's half the hood. I think some of this black stuff's a little bit of paint that's bubbling up from some rust spots because of lack of coverage. All right, clay bar is done. The car is taped up, or I should say the trim is all taped up. It's time to get rid of this. Here's what we're rocking with today. So we got obviously, as expected, one and done compound, Hybrid Solutions Pro, microfiber pad, cutting pad, middle ground. I don't even know what they call the middle ground pad, so don't make fun of me. And polishing pad. And then we got the five inch backing plate, flex gear driven polisher. You're gonna see numerous different colors of microfibers, I'm sure today, cause we're taking it easy on production value. But uh, yeah, let's, let's get it going. 
So since it's usually everyone's favorite thing to do, we're gonna start with a strip of tape down the middle of the hood to give a good 50-50 comparison. We'll do the whole driver's side of the hood first. Feel the tape, we should see a nice hard line where all of our spider webs disappear to the one and done compound side completed. So we'll start with that. Starting with the yellow pad. Just get this guy nice and centered. Yellow pad on. And then we gotta start with getting it seasoned. It's got about four dime sized drops. Might be a little overexposed there and we'll take that to the hood and get going. I just realized that I dressed to match my polisher. You guys ever do that? No? Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so a couple bits of consensus here. There are a few that I think are going to be a bit too deep to pull. I can feel them with the fingernail. That's often of a way to tell, but uh, overall, everything is looking, you know, that 80, to 90% better that I was going for, you know, so I'm, I'm happy with that. I also switched microfiber pad. It was just, you know, showing with the yellow pad that I needed to cut a little bit quicker. So we switched to that for now. From there, I'll probably still jump to the black pad because this guy is doing a good enough job. Keeping everything blown out over here with uh, my air compressor. Cleaning this consistently because a foam pad will hold a lot more junk than uh, this thin microfiber pad can. So we're keeping everything Nice and clean, moving along. Again, I'm, I'm at probably 30 minutes right now and I'm not even done with half the hood. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut up, film a little less and get polishing. There's a couple deep guys right next to the tape line. So uh, obviously I can't see the super deep ones amongst all this craziness that's going on. So as I start to uncover or, or take off all these little ones, I'm gonna start to see the bigger ones. I'll have to assess each specific one, see if it's too deep. You can do the fingernail test or just running it over a, new, a number of times. Can't or don't wanna take anything too deep. I don't have a paint depth gauge, so I don't have anything to gauge in specific areas how far it already is through. So again, 80% car. I think this should be good enough and uh, you know, we'll still see some great results. So I'm gonna let this do the talking. It's about time I put some headphones in too. This isn't the most fun thing to listen to for 10 hours. So anyway. I'm low enough here. I think we're pretty much done with the cutting of this side of the hood. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the tape. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it from the current angle, but I'm gonna pull it. I could probably wipe a little edge right here. And then I'll take the camera off the tripod and show you a couple of different angles, so. Hope it's great. All right, let's try that. Let's see what's going on a little bit better here. Just kind of sway back and forth. Two different shaped lights, so that makes sense. Pretty good overall, pretty great overall. It's just a cutting pass, so I've seen some reflection of the plastic up here, but again, looks pretty great. I'm stoked with that. Whole lot better. With a uh, mirror cap too, that'd be great. Come on, Danny. That's a wrap for tonight. How do I look? Only half of a hood done, a whole car to go, one or two long days ahead, and it should look awesome. So that's it for tonight. Don't even need to tell you that, but 
I'll see you in one second. <clears throat> All right. It's another day, another wardrobe change. Now we're gonna move on to this side of the hood. Fenders, roof. It's time to do everything else. So this is the part where we log some serious hours. Got the headphones in, got a number of pads, got the air compressor compressing. It's time to put some time in. This is the part where it takes a lot of time and you donate a lot of time. I'm wasting time because I'm not excited to put in so much time. Here we go. Stage one is done. We'll take a look at the paint here. You can kind of see, got a little bit of gentle haze on it, which is typical enough for after heavy cutting. So looking pretty good overall. This might not be totally clean yet. And again, all these little specks and stuff, that might be microfiber, fibers, um, but also plenty of very deep scratches in this car that I couldn't quite get out, so. Not bad. So I think as I go, I'm going to get this coated with Turtle Wax's graphene product. After each section, it's going to be as clean as it's going to be until I wash the car again. So I think I'm just gonna kind of coat as I go, section by section, we'll do that. So this whole area right here is done. We're gonna keep going. Um, I wanna get this done. It's been a long process, but it's turning out good. We're almost done. Try to coat it with this stuff.
left. The whole car. This is a very difficult car. Holy cow. This is a very difficult car. This, I think, has had a couple bits repainted. I think the bits that have been repainted polish out a lot easier than the original stuff. The car still, again, looks at least 80% better as I had coded it as an 80% car. So that's good. The end. It's late. Uh, I still have to clean the windows and everything and we're gonna get it back to friend Danny tomorrow. Probably clean the windows tomorrow, get some after shots to show everything. And stress back down to a low level. Anyway, uh, it looks great. I'm happy. Good night. Some scratches that were too deep to get out, but it's okay because again, 80% car, blah, blah, blah. But the car looks way, way better. I'm satisfied. Hopefully Danny's satisfied. Maybe at the end of this video, I'll put a, a cell phone recording of Danny's reaction as soon as he gets it. So that's it. All using this. Okay, bye. <laughs> I didn't know that it could get this much better.